I got nothing new that I haven't already said, so go ahead and ask me questions. Anything you can share on the Andre and Chico and Drew and no, no, no. week to week. Okay. What do you want guys to remember about last year's Pac-12 championship? Anything? I mean, I know it's a new team, new era. A long time ago, you said, but do you want them to remember anything about last year? It's not that I want them to remember or forget it has nothing to do with with that i mean i've said this many times you know the lessons that we learned good and bad from last year's season we always want that to carry over so we can learn but this is a completely new season early in the year completely different energies and rhythms and all those type of things so you know away we go now we now we start um the hard part of our season Coach, you said you were really happy with the first half play on Saturday. Watching the tape again, did anything else jump out? And then the second half, did it maybe look a little better than maybe you might have thought? No, I mean, it's kind of like I said. I said it all on Saturday. Um, you know, that's why I really said I don't have anything to add. I mean, it was you get all your guys in there. They pack the box. You're not really trying to throw it. Uh, can make it tough sledding for guys that haven't had a lot of reps and the combination of those two things. So it's kind of what it was. And with Ty Jones, what was the decision in terms of wanting to play him? Yeah, we've, we've been we've wanted to play him. We've been back and forth the whole time, and it's just a you know it's just a matter of you know we have a, a decent crew there, and so we just want to make sure that we can get everybody on the field and and use them um, how we want to, and um, you know some of these decisions are. Um, not always like black and white, like really easy. There's a couple of those, but some of these other ones are like, we just think we can continue to grow the guy. And I think when the guys are in the mix playing, no matter how much they play, just even the preparation for that week, I just think moves them so much further along for their future. Chris, you mentioned uh, the coaches and you guys talked about how the record state from last year was hard to look at because of all the changes to their coaching staff. What about Colorado now with obviously Levitt being gone? How much can you bank on that tape from that game a year ago to help you for Saturday? Well, Coach McIntyre's a defensive guy, so that's not changing. That's his baby. Um, and, you know, they got all their offensive coaches intact with most of their players. And... Um, so, you know, it's not it's not dramatically different. Um, they're playing really, really well. I think on, you know, both sides of the ball, but really on defense for how many guys that they've uh, graduated. And, uh, you know, I think that's a tribute to him and his influence and, you know, where he probably spends most of his time. What do you see on tape from Montez that kind of stands out as a concern? Of the defense? Yeah, he's similar. Um, to Lufau. Uh, you know, we saw that last year when they both played. They're very similar. They're big, strong, physical, tough guys. Um, not afraid to run the ball. That's part of their game. Um, running he, running them as a quarterback, uh, as a running back. And then, you know, also scrambling around and finding receivers open. You know, they got those three returning really good receivers. Um, you know, a couple more than that, in fact. You know, they got an experienced, experienced receiver crew um, with the running back and you know it's a it's a it's a group that's seen a lot do you find that the altitude is any factor at all is that something that you prepare for the only thing that I see that um, I mean how do you prepare for it I mean but we've been to Wyoming a million times and that's never affected us not one second um, the only thing it does is is the kickoffs usually go out of the end zone it's the only thing I see about uh, Drew Lewis here and his one year in 2014 and redshirted and then moved on. That's about it. Yeah, good athlete, and uh, you know I know he's doing well over there, so I'm I'm happy for him. Chris, you, oh, I was just going to say you got you and, and Colorado are the only two teams still that haven't allowed a rushing touchdown on defense. What what's what's allowed them to still play at a very high level despite they've had a lot of turnover in yeah. uh, their personnel just like you guys have. Um, yeah, I think it seems like the kids are very dialed into what they're doing. There's not, there's not, you know, assignment mistakes. And I think sometimes early in the season, especially when you have new guys, you'll you'll see guys that are like misplaced, out of a gap a little bit, and those type of things. And haven't seen that from those guys. Um, so yeah, I think that's the thing that they're playing uh, at such a high level of of defense um, for all the guys that left it is really credit to those guys.